I have some work on SVGs I wanted to share with everybody. Uh, you can import an SVG in Blender just with the included add-on, but it has a lot of limitations. And I ran into these limitations and thought I could improve them, so I created this free tool here. So here I've imported a torture test of an SVG. Uh, it has like a thousand objects in it. And you can see what it does. It just brings everything in flat. Right? It's hard to work with them. Uh, you have to move things in order to see other things. And uh, you know, it just makes this kind of unusable. You might want to just bring this in as a, uh, convert it to a PNG first or something, which kind of loses some of the point of SVG, right? That SVG is supposed to be scalable. You know, I can take all of this and um, you know, scale it around and stuff. And you know, I have all kinds of things that I can do with uh, vector shapes that I can't do with a PNG uh, until I trace it. All right, so. Um, I wanted to improve on this, and um, you know, I, had, I did this little tool that will take that same file, and uh, it's going to uh, convert everything so that uh, everything has a local origin, right? So the origin is moved away from the world origin, and each individual shape has its origin, which I find is useful when you're working with things. Um, Everything is stacked, right, so that they're not on the same plane. And you, you can see there's a little bit of variance in their height here. And, um, you know, this makes them distinct. You can actually see them and, you know, actually work with, that, with, with them without uh, screwing around with heights of the objects and uh, hiding things and such. And what I find is one of the, the nicest features uh, is importing the hierarchy of the layers in the SVG allows you to do things that you couldn't have done until, where did it go? That you couldn't have done until you had this hierarchy, right? So now I can move things as a group and, you know, it maintains they, they all maintain their heights and everything just as, just like they did before. But, um, you know, now I can work with things kind of as they were meant to be worked with. Uh, when you do these things inside of a vector program, you often, you know, group things based on these objects that you want to be able to work with. So, um, okay, here's another building. Right, so uh, kind of the same intention that you would have inside of a vector program, it kind of carries that through by just bringing that hierarchy in from the SVG and turning it into collections. Uh, something else I have here is an extrude, uh, which is nice that it allows you to, it's the same effect, but instead of setting things at different heights, it sets them at, at different thicknesses. Um, and one other thing, that I added here was everything gets a modifier dynamically based on if it's evaluated to get some benefit from it. So SVGs can come in with a pretty high resolution, a whole lot of dots, a whole lot of vertices. And um, I added a couple of modifiers to anything that has a lot of vertices to reduce them, right? So you can see, you know, I, I've, got, I've got quite a few um, uh, vertices and uh, faces, but um, you know, without the modifiers, there's there's probably a hundred thousand, or so ten times as much. Um, and that's it. So I hope people find this useful. Uh, again, this is a free tool that I will continue to add on to, and there will be some pro functionality later on, uh, kind of building on this as a platform. Thanks.